Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. Today we're continuing on episode 21 of our series on how to build the advanced blog and CMS that we've been working on. We're trying to get this Dev Marketer website running and now it's time to actually start um, getting the content portion ready. So we got our database set up. Now let's go through and actually create an interface to um, start editing the content. Um, the goal of this basically is to create that interface today. The next episode, we're going to work on the WYSIWYG. Um, that's like the text editor portion of it. And then we'll be able to start saving stuff into the database, um, pulling stuff out and doing all that kind of magic. So that's kind of the goal of this video is just to create that interface to start editing and working with our content. So let's do it. Okay, so what I wanna do is I need to open this up in a text editor, of course, and that's actually not gonna work. Oops, abort, abort, abort. Uh, I just opened my whole computer into Adam. That's not a good thing. Now my computer's about to blow up. I can hear the fans turning on. Should not have done that. Okay, um, let's get into our project now. And now we can do it. Okay, so now instead of here, here what we wanna do is, uh, am I up to date real quick? I am, okay. So um, what we wanna do is, can I clean this shit up real quick? And then, Let's go through and work inside of our views. So we're gonna work inside of our, um, let's see, we've got our admin, our manage portion, users, roles, permissions. Let's go ahead and create one for posts. So this is to create a view for our project. Let's create that. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these. We'll just make a few of these right now just to kind of fill it. So let's make a index page and then let's also, well, let's go ahead and fill this in. Um, so we'll say extends layouts dot manage. Now, refresh, let's go to blog posts. There we go, we got our index bot, our blog post page. Then we've got, um, if we go to create, we should have a create page. Perfect, we're good to go. So that's the beginning of it. Now let's go through and let's actually create this. So I'm not gonna worry too much about the index page just because um, we'll come back to it later. I don't have any blog posts to pull out of the database yet. So. So instead, let's uh, go to the create page and inside of here, let's create an interface to create a brand new blog post. All right, so I made some minor changes here. Um, was having some kind of weird technical difficulties, but I figured it out. Um, but anyway, now everything's, so I just have the title here, got the line, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just dive into um, the actual like blog post. So let's make a, let's make a um, element here for our um, title. Underneath that, we'll do our slug and then we'll probably do the main content, and then I think we'll do the excerpt under that. That's kind of what I think we're gonna do. So let's uh, let's do it. So now we've got kind of our main content down here um, underneath this uh, horizontal rule. So let's go now and create a form. We don't need a class. Let's just say action equals um, we'll send it to the posts dot, um, uh, so you create a store page method will be post. And that's pretty good for now. Now let's go ahead. Let's do that CSRF token. And then let's do, um, let's start inputting stuff. So. What we can do here is actually down here at the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and initiate a, um, a view object. So let's go do that real quick. So we're gonna say scripts, and then down here, let's go ahead and set this up. We'll say var, what well, we need a script tag. All right, now we can go ahead and do this. We'll do var app equals 
new view, set that up. Okay, um, I think we're gonna use view quite extensively on this um, page, so we'll, we'll get that set up. All right, let's see if we have this ID, this app ID, if I need to create it, because I can't remember. Um, views, layouts, manage. Okay, so we do have an ID of app out here, so we don't need to worry about it. So let's now do, um, that's all we need to do, that's good. So now what we can do up here at the top is we can go ahead and start creating those input fields. So what I'm gonna do, just to keep things simple, we're gonna go back to Viewify and just reuse a lot of these elements that they already have. So they already have, for example, an input field. We just need a generic input field. Uh, we can do usually a big one, let's see. We'll do a large one. So they just do B field like that. Let's go ahead and input that here. We don't need the icon. Um, put some sort of field for our uh, URL. So I, I like the way that um, WordPress handles it and that's kind of what I was thinking about doing. So I was thinking about having some sort of, um, basically, it basically be like a paragraph tag that's underneath it that just shows the URL and then kind of shows the slug and then you click a button, it turns that element into a like field that you can then edit and then you click save and it saves the slug. So that's kind of what I was thinking about doing. So we might actually have to end up creating that ourselves. Um, for right now, we'll just create a paragraph tag. Let's go ahead and we'll output the current like URL um, to slash blog or something like that. Okay, and then the idea here is then we would have another element that goes after that. So if we output this, there we go. So like that would be the URL, it would be slash blog slash, and then we would have our slug. That's kind of the idea. So we would basically have like a little button that says edit, and then we have the highlighted the, the little link. Um, so we'll get down to that, I think sooner or later. We might come back to that in this video. What else do we need? Um, we also are going to need, I think we can just go ahead and create our main content field. So let's go ahead and create a text area. Okay, great, there we, there we go. So. Um, we probably want to make this much bigger is my guess but let's go ahead and make it bigger so we'll just go ahead and set rows equal to um 30 rows just like that i think that's good all right so then that's going to be our posts and we'll come back and change this text area in the next video so just this is temporary right now we're going to come back and actually change it Okay, so this is looking all right. Um, this is a good starting point. We're gonna work on this as we go throughout. So this will be tweaked and improved over time. All right, so now the next thing I wanna do is I'm actually gonna break this into columns. So I'm gonna have this section to be like uh, three quarters of the width or whatever. And this final section will have a couple widgets on the side. So let's, um, we still need it to be part of the form. So let's put this, let's just kind of fill this up. Okay, so inside of here, let's go ahead, we're gonna say columns and then put this into one column. Uh, we could do is three quarters. And then let's go ahead and make another column here. Let's give this a name, end of. Okay, and then this is gonna be our box over here. So as you can see, kind of, pushes everything over, and then we'll have our uh, sidebar here. We'll kind of have our publish widget, we'll have some probably an author widget over here and everything like that. So let's go ahead and create these. Um, basically I wanna come back and build these as view.js components, that's kind of the goal. So I'm not putting as much effort into it now because I wanna come back and do it as a view.js component. But let's go ahead and uh, humor it here. So let's create an element called like, well, We'll call it card, card widget, because they will be their own little cards. Let's go ahead and give it a card content, which gives it kind of like a container. 
And then from here, what we're gonna have, this was going to be our kind of the publish widget, which, all right, so let's go ahead. We can give this, um, basically I want this to be our, um, like the author. I kind of wanna have this in a couple sections. I was thinking where we have like the author and then we have some of the published information when it was published and then like buttons in order to, you know, make it private or publish it and so forth. So that's gonna kind of all be in this little widget area. So to do that, let's go ahead and um, All right, I had to take a quick little break there, but we're back. Um, okay, so now what I wanna do is focus on, um, let's style this real quick. Let's add a button down here at the bottom too. So um, let's add another one. We'll say publish button area. It's always annoying when you forget one minor, minor thing and it throws you off for so long. I cut out a lot of that, but um, I wasn't able to get the, the flex wasn't actually getting onto the item because I had not um, identified it with its parent element. So it wasn't, it wasn't working. Anyway, now that was the problem. 
silly little issue. Now we can go back to actually making it look good. Um, just getting these boxes going, these buttons. Um, that's pretty good, I think, right now. Um, we will probably add and improve this as we go, but I think this is a good kind of place to start. Okay, so I think that's the majority of what we're gonna need for this video um, right here. I think it's kinda gonna be a good place for us to pick up. There's definitely a lot more work that needs to be done on here, but as we start adding features, it's gonna be a lot easier to just kinda add that as we go. This gives us a good place to kinda get started. Um, what I wanna do here in the next few videos is, actually I think the next video we're gonna focus on building this slug builder. So I want to basically automatically generate a slug and I wanna create an interface kind of similar to how WordPress does it, where you know this is going to basically figure out its own slug, and then um, we can click a button to edit it, save it, and so forth, and it kind of looks like a full link. That's one of the things I think we'll work on in the next video. That'll be heavily um, centered around Vue.js. And then after that, what I wanna do is this text area we have here, this is just temporary. What I wanna do after, um, when we get to the next video, well, the video after that, we I want to actually work on the WYSIWYG. We're gonna bring in um, a WYSIWYG editor, we'll customize it, make it look good inside of here, and then we'll basically be good to go. I was looking at the database, there's a few things I wanna add, um, but most of it can be added pretty easily. Um, for example, the comments, to enable comments and stuff, I'm actually just gonna create another row in here with a little checkbox so you could enable that. Um, and then we need to build a text box for the excerpt, which will just be down here at the bottom underneath the main compose. So I, I think that that's pretty good. What I wanna do with the excerpt is I wanted to automatically grab the first paragraph and uh, pull that into the excerpt. So if you just wanted to do a quick blog post, the excerpt would automatically be determined for you, but then you could customize it if you wanted as well. So that's some of the stuff that I wanted to do. Um, but again, I wanna get kind of the core blog post part going and then we'll work on the rest of this. Um, this is a good place to start off and then we can start diving into each of these individual components. So the next video plan on working with, we're gonna create a Vue.js component for our little slug builder here. I think it's gonna be cool. Um, it's, I've never done this before, so it'll be fun to do, and uh, we'll kind of learn together as we go throughout it. I've built a component before, but I've never built one around this slug kind of concept of automatically generating a slug, editing it, and doing stuff like that. So I'm actually kind of excited about that. That should be fun. Um, I really like doing those kinds of things. Just sitting here doing CSS and stuff gets boring for me, but hey, you gotta do it, right? And um, I think this is looking good. I'm really happy with the way this is turning out so far. So anyway, thanks so, so much for tuning in today. I will see you guys in tomorrow's episode.